What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K. Hey, look, um, as I've told you, one of the things that I appreciate most about the Stadia community is that it's unlike any other community that I've been part of this entire generation, to say the least, maybe in all of gaming. Um, these guys are very passionate and they're very thorough about being attached to truths. They don't like to play this game that I don't mind mingling in here and there, getting around in the effery, <laughs> as we call it, where they don't like playing these games where they'll battle back and forth with people on Twitter over nonsense and over falsehoods and over lies. What they do is they're trying to get information on how to do things with Stadia, um, how to enhance their experience, how to connect to other Stadia gamers, and how to just get games. Anything outside of those lines, they're not going to fickle around with or play around with. With that being said, they are diligent stewards of the truth. But when, they, when they're not pleased, there will be civil unrest <laughs> like you've never seen. This ain't like other communities like I've said before. We don't shelter our field here at, at, at the Stadia community. Like, they come raw. <laughs> you know what I mean? And... You can please them on Monday, but on Tuesday, they'll be upset all over again. So you got to keep it coming. So they're great at keeping the big wigs feet over the fire. With that being said, just as quick as they made everybody happy, dropping games like Borderlands 3, Ghost Recon Breakpoint with the Stream Connect feature, the community's back at it. They are not pleased because Stadia had told the gaming community that okay we're going to get better at curating information and spreading information with you so on such and such day or this time frame every month we're going to do it and guess what they were scheduled to have one of those sit downs or amas or whatever it may have been and they didn't follow through and there has been no word since now last time there was this situation a couple of days later stadia came through with some big time mentions but this community again plays no games and they're not taking any risks so they are now running <laughs> you know knocking at google doors with their pitchforks they're like we want answers and we want answers now what is coming down the pike for 2020 okay so that is the big thing right now with the community and i wanted to look at that dynamic because it's it's causing a lot of conversations and a lot of deep diving within the community you, you're not going to see this on the typical console war Twitter because, like I said, this is happening elsewhere. These guys don't play these games with y'all on social media. They're all about the business, okay? So I'm trying to bring this to light to some of you some of you that may think that nobody's playing Stadia. No, there's an active community, and they are very vocal. And I wanted to bring to light again a lot of the stuff that's being focused on right now. Also... There's some additional enhancements for Stadia that people are working through. I've tried them out myself. I want to let you guys know what I think about them, amongst some other things 2020 related. So come join me right now on the home for the Stadia Dosage content, the Stadia Dosage channel, where we are doing this per the Stadia Stream Connect podcast. Join me right now. We're going through the podcast. We're talking about all this stuff, and we're going to go into it in full detail, all right? So, again, stop what you're doing. Come on over per the link below. The link will be below so you can join us and join the conversation. Come on over, again, to the Stadia Dosage channel here on YouTube. And with that said, can't wait to see you over there. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace. Perfect.